Buongiorno from Tuscany, Italy. In our last video, we spent our first 24 hours in our brand new rented van trying to figure everything out. I don't know how to reverse. This is bad. 113 euros. We're never getting a van. I just want to move the seat up <laughs> and I have elevated my seat. I'm not even sure I can push the clutch in. I'm not sure if our car can fit through this. Today is day two of van life and we are going to be trying to empty our water tanks and hook up to power because we're already out. <laughs> Before we get on our way, there's a pre-drive checklist that we have to follow, and the most important one is in the trunk. First things first, we have to turn off the gas so that we're not a traveling bomb. To make sure our stuff doesn't go flying all over the van and the glass bottles of olive oil, etc., don't break, we gotta close all the cabinets. We also have to turn the battery power to the cabin off so as not to waste what little remaining we have. Just gotta make sure all the windows are closed. Last thing we're gonna do is rotate my, it's not a captain's chair, but that sounds cooler. So I'm gonna rotate that around. giant fancy contraption to hold your phone. It's so huge. The road coming in is very narrow. In fact, it's basically one way. So I'm a little nervous because of the time we're leaving, it's probably gonna be busier and we're gonna run into people. So I don't know how we're gonna adjust to that. Did it. Only one car. Watch your butt. Good job. We found a very, a very large parking lot. In fact, one that actually fits our van slash RV. And we're parking here because there's other people right here. And that makes us feel a little more comfortable while we're leaving the van here for a little bit to go shopping. It is paid, so we are working on finding the meter because it feels like we have to walk a mile to get anywhere in this parking lot. It's huge. There it is. Okay, it's 2.15. After 24 hours in the van, we have a list of things that we need. Unfortunately, this complex holds towels and groceries, among other things. Got all our errands run. We have towels, food, and a blanket, which hopefully keeps us warm. Now we just need a place to sleep. We're about a seven minute drive away. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Clear on your butt. Okay, the power socket on the car slash van is on the other side. So we're gonna back the van in so it can Reach this thing easy. Okay. First challenge is to get hooked up to the electric. It's our first time. No idea what we're doing. Like none. Okay. Does it matter which goes first? I'll go like this. Ah. I don't know what. I think on, yeah. off, okay. No, you have to, yeah. So we'll push it all and you're done. We'll plug this in next? Yeah. Okay. So like plug them in. 
That looks bolted in. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Is it in there? No, that's the toilet. Maybe oh, here. <laughs> Maybe here. Yes! Yay! This is the ticket. How do you do? How do oh, you got a little thing in there for it to go in. Wow. I pinched myself twice. This is such a painful experience. Okay. Okay. Charged. Plugged okay. in. Everybody okay. stand back. This is going to be like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. <laughs> Okay, let's go check it. There's a green, there should be a green button. There so is easy. a green button up there. Yay. This is charging. No, oh, that's the engine battery. Yeah. Yeah, good, we're charging. I don't know how long the batteries for the cabin would last if we didn't hook up every other night or so. But the reason it's so important for us is because we need to plug in our computers and work from our computers and none of the outlets in here work unless you're hooked up to electricity. So only the USBs and like the lights and water and stuff like that works, which makes sense because that's what you need to actually survive, not laptops, but we do. So it's good for us. Good job. First try. First try. No problems. Plugged in an outlet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the new blanket and the mess of a charging station that used to be our bed and I'm currently in the dining room slash office slash driving area cutting up some veggies for dinner tonight I'm making a go-to for us which is just red sauce pasta but I'm trying to do it in one pan this time so hopefully it works out and of course we bought another extremely cheap bottle of wine to go with dinner. It was a good deal. I wouldn't call it cheap. It was three euros. <laughs> I found one for 180. I upgraded because of this beautiful human being behind me. <laughs> Only the best for her. <laughs> Thanks, honey. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm okay. <laughs> Did you hit your head again? Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Also, I'm doing all this with a butter knife. Smells amazing, looks amazing. I'm gonna make this quick because I really want to eat this beautiful dinner. Thank you, Cortez. But we're going to wind down and go to bed tonight. We have this whole parking lot to ourselves. Tomorrow morning, we are going to empty our gray water tanks, fill our fresh water tank, and empty our waste for the first time. and we are finally starting to do this stuff so we can get ready to go to head to Florence today. Still have no idea how any of this works. Pretty sure our gray water tank has just been leaking this whole time whenever we use it. There's just soap out here. So I just wash the dishes. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know if there's a hose or what for the water. How do you know if it's full? We definitely need a hose. No idea where the hose is. I only have two hands. Not there. No hose. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here, not here, not here. Okay, we looked everywhere in the van and no hose for the water. So Nate's gonna call the rental company that we use to see if they can help us. Uh, we're trying to refill the fresh water tank, but we can't find a hose. 
Okay, so if there's no hose at the campsite we're at, we're just out of luck until we find one. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. There's no hose at this parking lot and apparently there's more than one type of hookup. So that's why they don't include a hose with the van itself. So if the parking lot doesn't have it, we either have to find another one that does or a campsite, which we're gonna be heading to today. So it looks like we're gonna be filling up the fresh water tank at the new campsite instead of right here since we don't have a hose. I'll have this nicely uh, organized. Perfect. So excited. <sighs> On the road again. Oh. Your foot. You're good. Okay, I think we can do this. We're good. Let's do it. Uh, turn. Okay, yeah, turn. A little bit more. Okay, straighten out. I know, I'm telling you. You're like this close back there. Turn, 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 turn. 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 Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. I have no idea how you did that, baby, but you crushed it. I felt like this close on every single side and I was like one roll back from scraping the side of this car. He was like half an inch from the back wheel hitting and the front and it was just crazy, but somehow we fit perfectly through there with a very impatient Italian driver behind us. What is with people here? Like I was this close to being done and he just couldn't wait. And then he had to pass me after we got over the bridge. Like, come on. Oh, okay. I think you pay when you get off. Oh. stays open. You never know if those things are timed. I'm sure that would make no sense, so they would never do that. That's why I don't do that for a living. There you go. There you go. Oh, that was so scary. How much was it? It was 740 for the toll. Granted, we were on it for quite a while, so it's not terrible, but originally we had no tolls going because I knew that it was going to be a bit more expensive than, say, in Colombia, where the tolls are like $2. But we weighed the pros and the cons, and basically we don't know how the roads are gonna be off the toll roads with this big of a van. Turn, 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 turn. And just with the cost of gas being so high, we're gonna take the shortest route possible every time. And we have limited kilometers, so. It weighs out 740, not too bad. Uh, what does it say? I think we have to call. Who? this place. Hello. Ciao. Uh, we wanted to see if you have uh, any room tonight at the uh, Area 51 camper. But you, stay, you stay into the gate area? Yeah, I'm outside the gate, yeah. Yes, yes, the gate is open, no problem. Oh, okay. According to Park for Night, this is supposed to cost 15 euro for the night, but has Wi-Fi, which is most important because we had no service for the last one, and electrical hookup so we can still use our computers. We're trying to get some work done today and the spot should be good and it's the cheapest we've seen. Not know where to pay. 
But they do have siestas here, so we're thinking maybe that they're just out on their siesta and we'll pay when they get back. Not totally sure though. Um, we are parked next to electricity here, but our electric plug is on the other side. So we're gonna see if the cord reaches around and then we're trying to find water now, because we do need water. Looks like there's a hose here. Do you think that'll reach? Here? Hose. Yeah. Literally just makes it. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Okay. I don't know where you dispose of gray water here. I can't really tell because there's no like great system, which is what we saw at the last place. But I don't think we need to either because our gray water tank's been leaking the whole time, which is not a good thing, but it's just the reality of our situation right now. But we have water. So I don't know how you know if it's full. I'm just guessing it just starts, <laughs> you know, backing out. That's the only way I know. So we're gonna give it a shot. It's good. Okay. No, this is not drinkable water. <laughs> this is not drinkable. What is it? I do not know, but this is not drinkable water. Good catch, babe. <laughs> There's lots of hoses around the property, so we're gonna walk around and try to figure out if any of them are drinkable water. It's only fresh water can go in the tank. No. No sign. Okay, we found a clear hose that doesn't have a sign that says not drinkable, but no sign that says it is okay. So we're gonna wait until we find someone here. Um, we're just gonna plug in electricity and hang out until hopefully someone shows up to help us. Hello. Hello. Yes. Just wanted to see where is the uh, fresh water that we can put in the van? Yes. Where? Okay. The good news, they have water. That's all I've got though. <laughs> it helps me about as much as unusable water. So I don't think we're filling up the fresh water tank tonight. And I don't think we're gonna dump the waste because well, I just don't feel like it's night. We'll do all that stuff tomorrow. Ooh, it is 8 a.m. It's very cold out. We pushed our waste container too far yesterday. It is like to the tippy top. So it's gonna be a heavy and kind of scary walk over to the waste. We don't even know how to use this station. We never found anybody. We have no instruction on the site. So this is our best guess. Moment of truth. Why isn't it coming out? Oh, there it is. Oh, it has wheels, so you can roll it. Oh. Is it heavy? Yes, it's very heavy. Does it stink? It doesn't smell great, but it's not bad. So we have a cassette toilet, which is different than some of like the Vans RVs that either have composting or they have some sort of hookup on the side of their RV where you flush it out. So. Ours is really not meant for number twos, unless it's an emergency. So, not to be too gross, but this is just number ones. Four days of it though. Four days of it. Good? So far so good, slowly but surely. Yay! So now we need to fill this up and rinse it. And dump it again? Yeah. Of course the water doesn't even turn on. Since there seems to be no electricity or water on property, we're just gonna grab a water bottle to rinse it out. Nothing like using a bottle of water that's purified to rinse out your waste tank. Rinsey, rinsey. Last order of business is you're supposed to leave a little bit of water in the tank and then another tablet to help with the sanitization and smell. Alley-oop! Boom! <laughs> Good job, babe. All right, we're done. We have room to go to the bathroom again. Now, the only thing we need today is some water. 
we have a lot of dishes to do. And we're on the last quarter of our freshwater tank. We finally were able to ask some people who have been here or who work here. I'm not really sure. But they told us that the water that we attempted our first time is okay. We just can't drink it, but we can still use it to wash dishes and shower and wash our hands. So it's still fresh water, can still go in the tank. And it's dark, of course, so now we're gonna try and fill it up in the dark. It's going. It says full. That wraps up the first of everything. We definitely procrastinated a little bit, or at least I did, because once we got cozy, it was just very nice. But we hope you enjoyed seeing our first experiences with the van. And if you did, hit the like button below. And if you want to stamp your passports with us again, Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we're actually leaving the van <gasps> to go see Italy. What? What craziness. Good night. A bit of a predicament here. That doesn't look normal. That's a sunglasses store, so okay. it's good. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, I think there's. Whew. I think they're just like, uh, I don't know. Making it work. Making it work. Making it work. Making it work. Or not like potable drinking water. Potable? Probably. Hey, babe, can you just look at that sign on the wall? No, like farther back. What? Farther back. <laughs> you see it? No. Thank you.